Hello friends, this last part of BootGrid server side processing in Code Igniter framework using Ajax. In this previous part, we have already discussed how to update or edit MySQL data in Code Igniter with jQuery BootGrid plugin with Ajax. Now in this part, we have start discussing how to delete MySQL data in Code Igniter with jQuery BootGrid plugin with Ajax. For this we have go to BootGrid view file and here we have go to jQuery code. For trigger delete button click event, we do not have to again load jQuery boot grid constructor. So, here we have directly, write employee table boot grid variable with find method, and under this method, we have write button class delete with on method, and under this method we have right click event with function. This code will fire click event on delete button under boot grid table, so this way we can use click event under boot grid plugin. Under this block, we have write if statement, with confirm box with message like are you sure you want to delete this, so if we have click on delete button then pop up box, with this message with ok and cancel button. If we click on cancel button, then it will execute else block of code and under this block we have write return false statement, that means no action will be perform. But suppose we have click on ok button, then it will execute if block of code, and under this block we have write id variable is equal to dollar this data method with row id. This code will fetch value from data row id variable, and store into this id variable. After this we have write ajax request, and under this we have write first option url set to base url, slash boot grid controller, slash delete data, here we have send request to delete data method of boot grid controller. In second option, we have write method, and in this we have use post method for send data to server. In third option, we have write data, and in this option we can define which data we want send to server can be defined under this option, so we have write id variable, we have send value of this variable to server. Lastly we have write success callback function, this function has been called, if request completed successfully, and this function will receive data from server. Under this function, we have first write alert with data argument, it will pop up message which it will receive from server. After this we have we want to reload jQuery boot grid table data, so we have write dollar with table id employee data with boot grid method, and under this we have write reload. This code will reload jQuery boot grid table data on web page without refresh page. Now we have go to boot grid controller, and here we have create delete data function, this function has received delete data ajax request. Under this function, we have write if statement, and under condition we have write dollar this with input object, with post method, under this method we have write id, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar this, with boot grid model, with delete method, under this method we have write id variable, 
This method will delete data based on value of this ID variable. Below this, we have write echo statement with data deleted message, this message will be pop up to user web page. Now we have go to boot grid model, and here we have create delete function with $ID variable as argument. Under this function, we have write dollar this, with database object with where method, under this we have write id table column name, and dollar id variable, this method will add where condition under query. Below this, we have write dollar this with, database object with delete method, under this method we have write employee table name, this method will make delete query, and execute that query. Now we have check output in browser. Friends first we have refresh web page, after refreshing of web page, we can see employee data has been load into boot grid plugin, with edit and delete button. Now when we have click on delete button, then confirm message has been pop on web page with OK, and cancel button, so when we have click on cancel button then no action has been perform. Now we have again click on delete button, then again confirm message has been pop on web page, with OK and cancel button, so now we have click on OK button, now we have received data deleted message has been pop up on web page. And on jQuery boot grid table data has been reload, and data has been removed from table without refresh of web page. So our code is working. So here we have make simple CRUD system by using jQuery boot grid plugin in code igniter with Ajax and bootstrap modal. In this system we have fetch data from table, insert or add data into table, update or edit table data and delete or remove data from table without refresh of web page. So this plugin is used for display data on web page in table format, with edit and delete button and you can also get other feature like pagination of data, searching of table data, Ajax table column sorting and many more. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, Please comment your query or input in comment box or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.